Hello. Hello, governor. Just. Okay, I'm live. Can you come over here a minute, honey? Is, do I have this paper in? Yes. Um. Doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, looks good. Thanks. Okay. Hello, this is Sandy McManus with NeedsARibbon.com. Sorry about that, I'm a few minutes late tonight. Um, I, uh, we, we, this, <laughs> let's start over. This is Sandy with NeedsARibbon.com and I'm bringing you another edition of Let's Get Together. And tonight we are just gonna get started um, because I was a few minutes late. We are going to put together the Timeless Greetings Kit, which is a purchasable kit. It is not a paper pumpkin, so it's a standalone kit. And like my other Let's Kit Togethers, as you can see, I, um, I do not peek ahead. I mean, I know what kind of what's in the kit. It's a card kit and it says one kit. The item number is 161062. Just seeing if I can peel that up. I'm gonna go ahead and open. So if you're kidding along with me, go ahead and open your kit now. If you haven't already, I know <laughs> some anxious people, they tend to open things as soon as they get them and that's fine. I choose to do this all with you all at one time that's just my mo so it comes in this great little craft stripy black and white kit it is like the box is basically similar to our paper pumpkin kits but this is a standalone all-inclusive kit and as you can see i've opened it i did it so it includes an ink spot, which is soft suede. I'm gonna go ahead and open that right now. Um, let's see if I can, sometimes I can actually, yeah. Sometimes I can actually peel them open. Like that kind of. <laughs> uh, so I like to, some people like to leave their caps on. I My new MO is to trim them off because you can do that then and drop it. <laughs> and I'm already inky. Goodness. So it's since it's an all-inclusive card kit, it includes an ink spot. It includes this. Oh, I need. Let me just. And here's the kit. And you can see it comes with its own block. Well, there's the kit. I'm going to put my box aside because we don't need that anymore. Nobody needs to look at that. There's the kit. I mean, I'm trying to get you, maybe this will help. Since it's a photopolymer like all our kits, I, um, I like to bring my foam mat. Sometimes I need it. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes it just depends. But the kit includes a happy birthday, a thanks. I can always count on you. Time to celebrate. I'm reading the greetings. You make the world a better place. A little timepiece, kind of a vintagey looking timepiece. And I don't, okay, that is supposed to be the globe. <laughs> it looks kind of like a blob on the stamp set, but that's supposed to be a globe. Okay, no offense to Stampin' Up, just, uh, just wanted to get a perspective on what I'm looking at. So this, let's go ahead and open our kits. Just use my scissors to slice it open. I try and leave the plastic wrap there on there as long as possible to keep everything together, otherwise it goes sliding all over like it is. Um, and our instructions, we can put our backer board somewhere off to the side and our shrink wrap so we have because it's an all-inclusive kit we get a shiny new block and it says stampin up on it that is a pretty block 
It's clean. That's why I'm laughing. It's clean. Mine are not right now. I need to have a block cleaning party. I need to have a block party. We'll call it a block party. Um, it comes with these great little self-adhesive metallic diamond harlequin shaped pieces. Um, our adhesive will always be in there for an all-inclusive kit. And some other papers. Our envelopes, which are never white with these, with any of our kits. They're usually something fun. And in this case, let's see, one, two. Okay, so it makes eight cards. Well, if I'd looked at the instructions closer, I would have seen that. So we have pre-printed envelopes, four with the kind of, kind of hair, it's not really a herringbone. Um, zigzag pattern and four with that little diamond type thing on it so in crumb cake i'm gonna guess i haven't looked again i don't pre-peak peak our card bases which are all identical and we get eight card bases pre-printed so that means they're white on the inside for easy writing we've got yep looks like four and four of the kind of zigzag pattern and the little I know that has a, a name. It's like a diamond. It's like an elongated diamond. I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> and then we have a sheet of pre-punched stamped or colored stamp printed actually. And these look like not labels to stamp on probably. Nope. And then we've got looks like 10. So five and five. So we get one goof of each size <laughs> one extra one goof um we get more pre-printed punch outable pieces and as i'm looking at this i'm already seeing i'm going to be giving away one card soon and he's not listening so i can say my husband is obsessed with watches and time pieces so um yeah he'll be getting one um <laughs> Yeah, look at a little pocket watch backing or globes. This timeless greetings. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I never put the name and the kit together. Wow. Woo! We are on fire. Um, and then our little glue dots. So pretty typical. No tear and tape in this kit, which I don't know if that's good or bad. So one thing I like to do right away is open up all my instructions. Sorry, I need a sip of water. If you watched my live last week, I had no voice. My voice is back. I'm feeling better. So I like to flip to the back page because that basically lists our, our kit components. So we've got, yes, our adhesives, our greeting labels, various envelopes, the block, the stamp, uh, the stamp, the ink, etc. Okay, for eight. So let's take a look at the full instructions. So our first page of instructions, it shows how to break it down, how to separate, and that's that's usually a good policy of um, break it apart. So one, uh, four cards use this, and four cards use this, and then our instructions for how to assemble each card. And there's never words because these are universal kits. So, and, excuse me, if you've been to my other Let's Kit Togethers, I will look at um, comments offline afterwards because it's too hard. And I'm trying to decide, you know what? I'm only going to assemble one of each since they're four and four. Because that way you can come back if you're watching later pause and um you know go through things and eventually if facebook cooperates this video will go on my youtube channel but facebook doesn't always cooperate yes i'm whispering that like they can't hear me i know uh, it's a little crazy here okay so we're gonna break these at kit one has the globe kit two has the pocket piece so kit one uses a little thingy. K2 
get two and we get extra so there's four so we get one each Ooh, possibilities already so broke apart those pieces so i'm just going ahead and breaking apart the kit we're going to do all our stamping at once so i'm going to set my labels aside as you should um our little oh i get it it's the chain it's the chain on a pocket watch oh, geez. <sighs> As much as watches are in my face every day around here and I'm not getting it. Wow, Sandra. <laughs> so this kind of green marbly piece looks like mint macaron possibly goes with the pocket watch. The wood grain one goes with the globe and then the rest of those will. So if you're just joining, we're just separating our kit components into groups and I'm only gonna show I'm only gonna make one card, but I will pause. And when I post the actual video eventually to YouTube, there'll be pauses so you can catch up on each step. I found that that's a pretty good methodology. So, and we'll need a base for each or four for each pile. Okay, putting aside the rest, I'm gonna put aside my envelopes. So it looks like, no, it doesn't show here, but I'm gonna guess, based on well you could mix and match so based on the kit the pocket watch has the little zigzag and the globe has that i assume that's maybe their intention let's take a look back at the front page or you can mix and match it's your kit your way um actually they did the opposite look at that so it's your kit your way you Mix it up however you want. Have I got everything? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so for... I'm going to put... So they're calling number two the pocket watch one. I'm going to put that stuff aside. Except for the stamping. So it looks like for the first one... Let's move on. So... For the first one, we need to mount. Yes, I'm kind of flipping all over. That's my typical let's kit together because we're kitting together and I don't pre do anything. I don't even take the seal off my boxes. So we need to mount. Nope, that's the wrong one. Pay attention. And I'm sure someone's commenting, going, Sandra, it's the wrong one. Yes, it is. So for the first thing we need to stamp is, and you may want to have something to clean off your stamps at the end. I will do all mine offline. Because it's photopolymer, I recommend prepping. And that's just a reminder. Yep, no sticky. Um, because of the way they, they make them and have to finish them. Um, actually, I'm going to go back to we're going to do all our stamping. So putting aside, we need this piece. So it, it, it indicates here which stamps go with which card. And you can also flip to your step, your card one and card two. For now, I'm just going to focus on the page that shows which pieces go with which just because it's a full breakdown of the kit. So we need to ink up. I've got my globe. Um, earth globe. I guess it is a globe because it is going to be eventually going on a globe thingy. And we want to get that. Um, I don't think it really matters how. But we need to get that stamped. And if you're kidding along, go ahead and stamp your globe. You know what? I think I'm going to bring my mat back in here just to make super sure. So while I clean up, this is the time for you. We're going to pause, virtual pause, and stamp all four of your globes. And 
then again your kit your way very much your way this is how I like to mount my photopolymer normally I actually I'm going to do this on grid paper um, so we're going to mount so the what they recommend the next greeting in is again your kit your way you choose whatever greeting you want or maybe not stamp your greetings ahead if you're going to make the whole kit maybe stamp your greetings as you need them based on your needs but for the purpose of this I'm going to go ahead and I like to lay it on my grid paper and then I like to line up the bottom of my block with one of the lines on the grid and nervously do this <laughs> and pick that up and that way I have that bottom guide as a line that looks crooked I'm gonna go ahead and pre-stamp that because that looks kind of crooked actually it's really not that world could go up a little bit higher by being perfectionistic yep that's me that looks a little better it's handmade how picky can we be we really don't need to be that picky so I'm gonna go ahead and ink up my greeting for the globe kit or the globe cards I forgot to prep that didn't I mm-hmm yep you all are watching going Sandra okay I'm gonna go ahead and do that and get my my hand all brown wipe it off of my black pants <laughs> it looks like I'm in grade school eating lunch wipe your hands on your jeans I never did that but most kids did okay I think my greeting might be a little bit canted but that's okay so for this one for the globe one we're gonna use the narrower greeting labels okay and we are going to want to go ahead and stamp that and I'm gonna set that aside to try and then I'm gonna go and so the next greeting so as long as we're doing greetings excuse me it says time to celebrate and that goes on the bigger label again we're gonna go through the same methodology of get that lined up get a line on our grid doesn't matter which line I kind of try and aim for so the greetings in the middle pick that up and this time I am remembering to prep it yep that sounds good no sticking to the paper and we're gonna actually use our stamp pad this time so for the the the, the timepiece the pocket watch we need to use the bigger rectangle so let's go ahead and ink that up And you'll do that three more times. I'm gonna set that aside for now. And then we also need our little timepiece guy. We'll get him prepped. There is no center on him really. And he gets stamped. I actually have to look at my instructions. Ah! So there is. Yeah, this definitely, oh my gosh, you guys. I just bought this because it was a kit. I didn't really pay attention. Again, I try and do this with all of you. What was in the kit? I knew it said timeless greetings. I'm like, okay, you know, I'm thinking things like basic happy birthday, stuff like that. Good, I'm getting fuzzies from my sweater all over. Um, I want that really... And ooh, ooh. okay, I'm going back to here. Um, 
Here's the thing. I'm going to give this to a horologist. I better darn well make sure that I've got the time. <sighs> I've waited so long ahead of um, that I've got <laughs> that I've got the face on this accurately. Oh my gosh, funny. Otherwise, I could get razzed forever. So we go ahead and stamp. You could certainly put this on any way you want, but for those non-horologists, these are called complications. It's a silly word, but that's what they are. The extra things that come on a watch that do more than tell time are called complications. Another little education point, you have the, the minute hand and the hour hand and then the second hand, and that's called a three hand watch or timepiece. Just a little, just a little education on this Thursday night because we've been immersed in this for a year and a half in this house. Oh my gosh. Long story. Funny story for another time. But yes, my husband is an absolute whore. Whoreologist. Okay, so we're done with stamping. I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. Um, I'm going to pull... I have free ink. Look at that. That's why they give you extra labels. Because... People like me exist in the world. And uh, yeah, I've... okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set this aside because I'm only doing one of each. And so we're gonna go ahead and look at the instructions for card one, which is the globe card. So I'll bring all that over and I'll bring my adhesives and my little doodads and we're gonna set our ink aside because I don't really need scissors. There's no ribbon in this, except to use. Actually, you know what? Some are buried in all my supplies. I have my take your pick tool because it can be easier to work with the little glue dots. Not necessary, not absolutely imminent or anything, but just a piece of advice, if you are struggling with the little glue dot, scissors can work. Your take your pick tool, especially if you use the spatula end, um, can really help too. Just a piece of advice from me to you. So, we've done our stamping. Number two, we need to put dimensionals on the back of our little metallic looking piece. And they recommend five. So the four corners in the middle. So we'll do this four times. Okay, that was me just pausing for effect, as it were. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, cause I like to fold my cards, some like to fold them at the end. Um, I want that laying flat as possible. Okay, so we put the dimensionals on the back and now we we um, place this in the middle of our card front. So make sure your card base is facing the right way. Again, some people like to um, score or fold their card in right away. I'm more of that camp. Some do them at the very end. There is no right or wrong way. It is your level of comfort. So we'll put that on the middle. Okay, that's step two. Step one was stamping. Step two, put that on. Step three, we're gonna use little glue dots. And I'll put the base aside for a minute. And this little silver foil globe thing. I'm gonna use little glue dots to put the globe on and put then that on the card. Wow, this is an easy card. Okay, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna flip this over and it's recommending, it's saying two glue words, glue dots. I can kind of buy that. It's a pretty lightweight piece. And I'm not gonna take the backing off yet, not until I'm ready. And they're saying three glue, three, four glue dots on the globe. So three, make sure you put the glue dots on the globe part so they're in enough. That one didn't work out. That's okay, it'll still stick. 
um, in enough that the piece that goes over it, you know, because there's a border it looks like, and then one on the base. Oh, you guys, did you see what I did? Well, that's okay. We'll forgive Sandy. Those were all supposed to go on the back side. So, erasing what we just did, we need to put the glue dots. <laughs> Whoops, I'm sorry. So we need to do this four times if you're making all four now. So let's go ahead and flip that back over. We've got extra adhesive now. Um, that. Um, to get, we've got more than enough adhesive to hold our little stamped globe piece on. That's what I was trying to say. So let's, I guess, go like that. I don't really know. That's the way they kind of have it. So, sure, I'll bite. I don't know if that's accurate based on how a globe spins or not. And that's okay. So we need to bring... So we need to do that. So do that four times. And now we need to put our globe on our card. So release the backing on your glue dots. Bring your nail, take your pick tool, scissors, whatever gets the job done. And it looks like it's offset kind of centered top to bottom and then offset toward the left is how they have it. Make sure your globe base is straight. Otherwise it's going to just roll right off the table, the virtual table. So step four is to put our greetings on and our little doodads. So it looks like we put dimensionals. So we'll do that. Oh, sorry. I'll pause. and you can get caught up. We put three dimensionals on the back of our greeting piece. I'm gonna put that there for now. And we need three glue dots on the back of our little wood grain piece. And that is the back side, unlike my little globe instructions, which I kind of boofed. Okay, so looks like then we take and release the back okay i'll let you get caught up so now we need to take and release the backing on the glue dots and we're going to put the wood grain piece okay kind of like that i don't think it matters it's again your card so the wood grain piece is down. And release the backing on the dimensionals. And let's place our greeting on. And I'll pause. OK. And now we need to put three little of these diamondy pattern things. Diamondy. Technical terms, people. Diamondy. Okay. They put one here. Again, I put my kit according to the instructions. You put your kit the way you feel. And somewhere up there. So there's card one. How stinking cute cute is this kit oh god i am in love with this and i'm already as i'm making it queuing up names that i'm going to be having to go and finish offline for me um sorry, i'm just picking up all my little backing pieces um i miss my garbage <laughs> so i'm gonna have to clean up on aisle five um okay putting aside 
that. So let's go to the instructions for card two. We've already done our stamping. I've already put them, pulled them off. So catch up on your stamping if you haven't. Okay, so then we need to um, make a little workspace. We need to put five dimensionals on the back of our black and gray piece. And this piece, again, your kit, your way, but according to the kit, they are putting the, it's the zigzag piece. And I'm gonna go with, that's kind of the upright way. Either way works, you know. And now we need to attach that. So I, again, of the mind, I like to fold my card base right away. You know why? Some people like to leave them flat to the end. You know, part of why I do that is because I want a visual of what the space I'm actually supposed to be working on and not the whole eight and a half inch wide or whatever we got. <laughs> we got going on. Um, I like to have that. Um, that's just a visual for me. So, yep, I kept it the right way. So we're going to go ahead and place that on the center. And we're going to catch up. Oh, I didn't take the backing off. thought I got all five. Okay, so we've done step two. Step three looks cute. So we need to, we're gonna use both adhesives on this. So we need, put our greetings aside because that was step four in the other card. I assume it's the same here. So we need to put, I'm gonna make sure, okay, 12 is on the top. <laughs> Seriously, I really hope my husband isn't watching this video because right now he'd probably be curling, you know, his hair would be curling going, woman, you know better. Um, assuming that's, doesn't matter. We just need two glue dots on the back of the watch face. And lesson learned, flip our little pocket watch over. And oh, we get three dimensionals this time. So two, three, and we need to put some kind of glue dots on the back of our little um, chain. And, okay. So, I'll let you catch up. And now we need to, oh yeah, I'm going to put, okay, so working with my instructions here, my card's facing the correct direction. I'm going to release the backing on my dimensionals for the pocket watch. And it looks like they kind of put it kind of toward the middle, a little below the middle, toward the right side at an angle. Now I'm going to go in there and put my little, <laughs> put my little um, chain, God, this is a cute kit. And I'm going to put my watch face on and I'm going to make darn sure it is facing upright. Let's see, I'm already, that's, I'm going to call that the 12 o'clock mark. There we go. Not bad, not bad. And I'm going to let you catch up on the adhesive and the assembly there. Okay, and our final thing is to put our greeting on. And this is the greeting, and this is the little green marbly piece. So greeting gets three dimensionals. And 
and Marbly Police only gets two. Okay. But again, they give you plenty of glue dots. Knock yourself out if you're not sure it's going to stick. So going up, we'll put the marbly piece down first, getting our backing off. I don't think it matters which. I'll go down a little bit more. And put our greeting on. Again, a little bit offset. And I'll let you catch up on that. And we need to add three little diamondy pieces. And put them wherever your heart's desire is. Oops. Um. Like that. <laughs> figures um and that is it that is all there is to this adorable adorable kit and so you'll make four of each this is card one and this is card two there is no ribbon on here noteworthy and i thank you for joining me for this episode of Let's Kit Together, where we put together the Timeless Greetings All-Inclusive Card Kit, which includes, yes, a little ink spot in soft suede, a stamp set, which is adorable, and all the other pieces to make eight cards and envelopes. Be sure and stamp on, don't forget, you can stamp on your envelopes too. I keep forgetting that. Um, and you get to mix and match one, two, three, four, five greetings. So knock yourself out.